welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to transform a B template to an on-brand customer email so that your email looks like it really came from you and is in line with your brand voice and your brand look. So I pulled up a template here and this is um, in B's template library. There are a ton of options in there. This one has a really cool animated GIF and fun funky color scheme. But let's talk about some nice little touches we can put on this email. So when you use it, it looks and feels to your customers like it came from you. So the first thing is to make it sound like you with the text. So you're gonna obviously put in your own company name here. I'm gonna write B editor since it's me me customizing the email right now. Another thing you can do is go ahead and pull in um, an image here and go ahead and delete the text and instead upload um, your company logo. Logo is a really easy, quick way to identify um, your email for customers um, and, and most, most brands have the logo right at the top there. So you're welcome to always do that um, if your logo works with the color scheme um, and if that's something that you typically do. So we'll keep going ahead and updating the text. And you'll want to use punctuation marks that sound like you. Um, you want to just stay in line with your own brand style guide. So it's pretty simple. I'll go down here to make some updates. Now, another thing to think about once you're happy with the text, and you can fiddle with these as long as you want, um, are the shapes of things. So this email is very rounded. You can go ahead and leave that rounded look, or you can say, you know, our buttons that we send in our emails, they're always square. So you could change the border radius and make this really, really square. There we go. And same with your social media buttons. And of course you would link all of these to your own brand um, landing pages. But if this is the format you usually use, then go ahead and uh, choose the one that, that's consistent. The idea here and whatever you choose is to have consistency between this message and the other messages you typically send. So another thing that's helpful then in addition to shapes of your buttons and, um, and obviously your language and tone and voice um, is your font. So let's say that this Oswald is really not a font you typically use. Your brand font is um, uh, Helvetica. And your brand font for email might be specific, a specific one that you use in all your emails. It might be different um, from your website. But whatever you use, you want to stick with it. That's hard to read. so have to keep that in mind too. So another way to adjust um, default font is over here. And that'll change everything all at once. Um, one thing we don't want to do um, is change the background colors here because this um, template really has a color scheme that's intended to evoke summer and it has background images um, that are embedded within the email and the colors can't be changed so if we change colors around them we might start to get an email with too many funky colors in it and it's always good in email to have a straightforward and simpler color scheme. So this one clearly is really yellow and blue, and we'd want to stick with that. Um, if you want to work in your own brand colors, then I would suggest searching for a template 
um, without background images or with background images that you intend to replace with your own branded content. Um, but for now, in terms of making really simple um, and quick updates to make an email look and feel like it came from you and your brand, um, keep it on brand with your brand fonts, with your brand tone of voice, and with your brand shapes and where appropriate colors. Happy designing!